So in today's video, I'm going to do an experiment and it's going to be a very interesting experiment. So grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and stick around because this one's going to be a good one. Now I've been reading a book recently about the probability of life. What's the probability of winning the lottery? What's the probability of being successful? What's the probability of falling in love? And it's a very interesting concept on how you look at life because I look at things now, uh, if I wanna go and do something, what's the probability of me achieving that? And it's a very interesting way of looking at things. Now, the reason why I'm having this conversation is because of the weekend, I went out for some food with my partner. And she knows I do a lot of investing, a lot of risking of money. Uh, and she knows the amount of money that I risk and the amount of money I make as well. And in one particular investor uh, investment, she said to me, oh, I couldn't do that, it's too much hard work. And it got me thinking, hard work. What's hard work about putting money into something and then getting a monthly return in terms of a dividend or monthly interest payment? What's hard work about that? Nothing. Your money is doing the work for you. Now, what she meant was pressure, stress. She couldn't handle that much risk. Risking all that money for something. She couldn't handle it. And that got me thinking, because I'm going to set you a challenge now. I have a 50p coin here. Now, if I flick this coin like this, it's either going to land on heads or tails. Now, I've got £10 here. I bet you £10, if you land, if you predict right, it's heads or tails, you win £10. If you get it wrong, you have to give me £10. Now, I actually asked a lot of friends and family over this. I said, look, here's 50p. If you predict it right, you get £10, my £10. If you get it wrong, you have to give me your £10. Now, it's interesting because I asked 10 people and nine of them all said they would not take that bet. And the reason being is because their, their logic behind this is it's my £10. I don't need to take this bet and I'm guaranteed to have this £10. If I take this bet now, I'm risking that £10. So if I don't take this bet, I'm guaranteed to keep my £10. Why is that? And the reason for that is because people look at losses more. The reason why most people are not successful at trading is because they can't handle losing money. They can't handle the risk. So for them, they don't take the risk. I actually then changed that bet and I said to them, okay, £20. If you bet heads or tails and you get it right, I'll give you £20. I'll give you twice as much money. If you get it wrong, I just have £10. You give me your £10, you get it right, you have my £20. Again, nobody took me up on that offer because they were looking at the, the risk. They thought to themselves, I'm not risking my money. I'm guaranteed to keep it by not taking this bet. Now, it was only until I upped it to £50, £100, did they then think, OK, it's worth taking that bet now because it's a larger amount of money. Now, what if I told you that if we did this bet 100 times, you're guaranteed to make money. In fact, there is a 1 in 2,000 300 chance that you are not going to make money. You're almost guaranteed to win this bet. We flip a coin, heads or tails. If you win, you get £20. If you lose, I give, I get your £10. We do this 100 times. You are guaranteed to make money. Now, this got me interested. Can we do this same logic, the same probability with forex trading and this is what we're going to do in today's video so let's head over to the charts so now on the charts we're going to test that theory we're going to take 100 trades and we're going to randomly just take buys and sells buys and sells buys and sells we're going to do that 100 times 
using a one to two risk reward ratio. So same again, we're gonna be risking 10 pound to make twice as much money back. So 15 pip stop loss, 30 pip take profit, 15 minute time frame, Euro USD. So in theory, we should make money here. It's a 50-50 chance of winning, okay? Now I'm gonna change it slightly. I'm gonna add a stochastic oscillator. I'm going to put the probability of winning more in our favour. Now look at this a bit like a roulette table. Okay, roulette tables have uh, reds and blacks and also green. But let's just forget the green for a minute and it's red and black. The probability of winning is 50-50. There's 50 reds and 50 blacks. It's a 50-50 chance. Okay, I'm going to make it 70-30. 70, 70 red. 30 black. I'm going to put the probability of winning in our favour. So in theory now, we should guarantee to make profits. Okay, we have put the probability of winning greater in our favour and we are winning more than we are risking. I'm going to do this with a stochastic oscillator. So again, what we're going to do when the stochastic goes over sold, we're taking a buy. When the stochastic goes over bought, we're taking a sell. We're going to do that buy, sell, buy, sell. We're going to do 100 trades with a 15 pip stop loss, 30 pip take profit. And if the maths is right, then we should be finishing in profit. So let's do this together. Okay. So like I said, we're just going to see here, sell we're oversold. We're just going to take a buy like that, okay? So there's me stop loss. There's me take profit. I'm going to speed this up like this here, okay? And we'll see what happens with this trade. Did it win? Okay, it lost. Okay, it lost. So let's go back to here. Okay, now we're now gone oversold. See here? So we're going to take a sell. Let's take a sell now. Okay. We're oversold again, so we're going to take a buy. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this 100 times. Okay, right. Um, so, results time. I have took, it says here I've took 204 trades, but it actually hasn't because it actually counts uh, the fact I took a trade and then the result of that trade. So I've took 100 and I think two trades, 102 trades, and the result is an 18% gain. So yeah, it does work. Now, the reason why I did this is, first of all, I'm not guaranteeing that you will make money doing this. It's a probability game. And this is what I want to explain to you. Trading is just a probability game. It's trading an edge in the market. That is all it is. And it's putting that edge in our favour every time we take a trade. And I'll try and explain this to the people that I teach. You want to keep your trading simple. It doesn't matter how complicated you make your strategy, how much you try and learn about the market, you will never move the market. You're always trading an edge. It doesn't matter if you are, you trade like an institutional trader. It doesn't matter if you trade like a retail trader. It doesn't matter if you trade against the trend, with the trend. It doesn't matter. We're always trading an edge. And we want to put that probability of winning always in our favour. And not only that, we need to implement a very good money management strategy like this. Risking 1% to make 2% back. Okay, we are going to get losses in trading. We are going to win trades. We're going to make money. We're going to lose money. It's part of trading. And you need to understand the core fundamentals to how to be consistent at trading. And this is it. We just trade an edge. The strategy is just our edge. So every time we take a trade, we want that probability of winning that trade always in the favour, always in our favour. And how do we do that? We get very, very good at trading that strategy or trading that edge in the market. If you constantly change, change strategies, 
it doesn't matter what strategy you tra uh, you trade it's just an edge okay mine is the buy and the destroyer that's my edge yours could be price action that's your edge at the end of the day it doesn't matter we're just trading an edge now the reason why i use the stochastic oscillator in this particular experiment is because i knew it's not a 50 50 probability of winning it's not like flicking this coin and it being heads or tails trading is slightly different because we have something called stop losses and take profits what i mean by that is if i take a uh, if i take a buy trade that buy trade or that trade can go into my favor can go into a buy trade and then it could reverse and i could lose that trade because my stop loss is in the wrong place so forex trading is not really a 50 50 probability of winning because like i said you can be in some trades they could go in the money you could be winning it and then it could reverse and you could lose the trade it's not like a 50 pence coin once it lands on heads, it doesn't suddenly start turning over and become tails. It's either, it's either heads or tails, 50-50. With trading, it's not 50-50. And this is why I use the stochastic oscillator. I put the edge in my favour. The probability of winning more in my favour. So what I want you to take from this video is simply keep your trading simple. Stick to one strategy, stick to one edge and get very good at trading it. And just remember, it's just a probability a probability game. We're just trading an edge, and that is it. We implement a good money management system, and we accept losses, and we accept wins, and that is what builds consistency. So I hope you enjoyed that experiment. Uh, and yeah, my name is Jamie Palmer, and uh, thank you for watching.